Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. Today, we will talk about defibrillation with the Corpulse 3. Verena, could you give us your definition of defibrillation? So I see defibrillation as an unsynchronized electrotherapy in the context of a cardiac arrest. So in cases of malignant cardiac arrhythmias such as ventricular fibrillation or pulseless ventricular tachycardia. With the Corpulse 3, we have two different modes. AED mode and manual mode, in which we have the option to deliver a shock. The shock can be delivered either by the core patch easy electrodes, the shock paddles, or the shock spoons. For children, please use the appropriate adhesive electrodes or the adapters for the shock paddles. Today, we will focus on defibrillation using the core patch easy electrodes. We will explain the other accessories in a separate video. To start the device, we have two options. One is the regular on-off key, and the other is using the two keys, AED and manual. If we choose this option, it has the advantage that the device will start directly in the corresponding mode, and the device startup process will be shortened. We would like to begin with defibrillation in AED mode. To do this, we access the AED mode by pressing the corresponding key. Press Analyze. The device now prompts us to apply the therapy electrodes and then press the Analyze key. To apply the therapy electrodes, it is necessary to prepare the patient completely. This means the upper body must be unclothed, hair free and dry. Jewelry positioned between the electrodes should be removed beforehand. We then need to make sure that we position the electrodes correctly. For the anterolateral positioning of the electrodes, we take the right red electrode and position it on the front of the chest, on the right side, just below the collarbone. The blue electrode is positioned laterally on the left, so on the left side of the thorax, as laterally as possible below the armpit. When applying the electrodes, it is important to make sure that there are no air pockets beneath the adhesive surface. Additionally, implanted medical devices should be avoided. After we have applied the therapy electrodes to the patient, we let the device analyse the heart rhythm. For this, we press the Analyse key. Alternatively, it might be preset for the device to automatically start this analysis. The result will either be a shock recommendation or the recommendation that no shock should be delivered. If a shock is recommended, the device will begin charging the set energy and will recommend performing pre-shock CPR. Next, you will be notified that the shock can now be delivered. Do this by holding down the shock key until the shock is delivered. We will now show you how it works. Do not touch patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. In addition to the AED mode, the Corpus 3 offers the option of manual mode. Depending on the operator, it may be necessary for the user to unlock this mode using an access code. The special feature of manual mode is that we have to decide ourselves whether the rhythm is suitable for defibrillation or not, which synchronization method we choose, and what energy we want to apply. We can set these individually. To begin manual defibrillation, we first need to select the manual key. We will be prompted to perform a rhythm analysis now. In this case, we decide that we want to defibrillate with 200 joules without synchronization. We load the preset energy. Press the shock key and hold it to apply the energy. Afterward, we continue CPR. From the red therapy field, we can gather additional information. On the top right, we can see the total time since the therapy started. Below that is the number of shocks delivered. And the small pie chart shows the time elapsed since the last analysis. If an analysis shows that no shock is recommended, we can restart the pie chart 
using the soft key. Continue CPR. If a Core Pulse 3 and a Core Pulse CPR are both in use, we can connect the two devices using the soft key Connect. The energy can be selected and confirmed using the jog dial. In addition to this method, I can also select the energy using the soft keys 100 and 200. Afterward, the energy can be charged. With the soft key Sync, you can choose from three different synchronization modes. Auto-sync, sync, and async. The special thing about auto-sync is that the device tries for one second to deliver a synchronized shock by searching for a QRS complex. If it doesn't find this QRS complex, it automatically delivers an unsynchronized shock after that second. This form of synchronization is only approved for defibrillation. With the soft key metronome, you can turn the metronome on, turn it off, adjust the volume, or select one of the different modes available. As already mentioned, you have the option to change the energy setting with the jog dial. Once you've confirmed it and want to change it again, you need to press one of these two soft keys or press the manual key to change the energy again. A shock delivery by the device can only incur if the impedance is too low or too high. You can also see in this field here whether this is the case. Too low impedance may be present. If the patient's skin is still too moist, then you need to dry it off. Or if the therapy electrodes were applied too close to each other. In that case, it's best to reapply them with a larger distance between them. If after these measures the impedance is still too low, it is recommended to use a new package of therapy electrodes. In contrast, a too high impedance can occur. If the patient's chest is still too hairy, the hair needs to be removed. Or if the skin is too contaminated and needs to be cleaned. Or if the positioning of the therapy electrodes is incorrect. Or if there are still air pockets beneath the adhesive surface, then it is recommended to reapply them. Ben, I would say we should briefly summarise the most important yes, exactly. points. What do you think? The very first priority is always to provide continuous resuscitation according to the current guidelines or your local protocols. You can use the Corporals 3 in AED mode or in manual mode. In AED mode, it is important to note that it is only approved for use from age of 12 months. In manual mode, you need to ensure the correct form of synchronization. In both cases, you should ensure that the patient's upper body is optimally prepared and that the adhesive electrodes are correctly positioned. We hope we were able to provide you with some useful tips again this time. You can find out more information on how to perform cardioversion with the Corpals 3 or how to connect it with the Corpals CPR during resuscitation in our other videos. Please leave any further questions, suggestions and feedback in the comments, otherwise hit the bell so you don't miss anything and we'll say goodbye. See you next time, bye! Ciao.